Henry and Mudge and the Up Forever Sea. Story by Cynthia Ryland. To the beach. It was summer vacation and Henry had his do big dog Mudge were going to the beach. Mudge had never see been to the beach. Henry promised he would like it. You'll like the waves, he said, and the sand castles and the shells, but drink, don't drink the water, he warned. Too salty. They went in the car with Henry's father. In Henry's bag were green goggles, a yellow basket, bucket, an orange shovel, and a dump truck. In Mudge's bag were a blue bowl, a jar, jug of water, half of a bone, and a tennis ball. In Henry's father's bag were a book about shells, six towels, and a red rubber lost lofter he liked to bring along. They sang sea songs all the way. Henry's father said yo ho ho about a hundred times. Henry act like a shark. Mud just wagged. They couldn't wait to get there. I see it, Henry shouted. The ocean was waiting. It was blue and white forever. Henry's father honked the car horn. Mudge barked. They parked the car and ran for the sand. Mudge got there first. He ran in, right into the water. Splash! Henry was second. Splash! Henry's father was third. Splash! The white foam rushed around their legs. They laughed and ho hopped and ran. A big wave knocked Henry down. He rolled all the way back to the shore. Well, said Henry, he got up and ran back in. Henry's father rode a wave like he was a surfboard. He rode it all the way back to the shore. Well, he said, he got up and ran back in. Mudge was not brave as Henry and Henry's father. He just ran along the edge. He stayed out of the big wave. But still, he got so wet that he would like a whale with legs. They all played a long time. Brave dog. For lunch, Henry and Mudge and Henry's father walked to a hot dog stand. Henry had a hot dog with ketchup. Henry's father had a hot dog with ketchup and mustard and onions and slaw and chili and cheese. Yuck, said Henry. Much had three hot dogs plain in one goat. After lunch, Henry and his father began to build a sand castle. Henry made the moats. Henry's father made the towers. Much made a nice bed and went to sleep. When the castle was finished, Henry's father stuck his red rubber lobster on the tallest tower, and he and Henry clapped their hands. Suddenly, a big, a giant wave washed far on the sand, and it covered everything. It covered the moats. It covered the towers. It covered much who woke up. Oops, said Henry. Save that lobster, cried Henry's father. The water was pulling it out to the sea. Mudge ran and jumped into the wave. He caught the lobster before it was lost forever. Good dog, said Henry's father. Brave dog, said Henry. They all had cherished snow cones to celebrate. Goodbye, crab. At the end of the day, it was time to say goodbye to the ocean. Henry and Mudge and Henry's father walked along the sand, watching the orange sunset.
watching the water sparkle green and yellow. Suddenly, a gra crab popped out from under the sand. It came up sideways very fast, so fast that much nearly nearly stepped it. Look out, Mudge, Henry said. Mudge stopped and put his nose to the sand. The crab looked at him. He looked at the crab. I can't tell if that is the front of the crab or the back of the crab, said Henry's father. Suddenly, the crab ran sideways all, over, all from them. Mudge chased it. It poked back under the sand. Henry looked at its new hole. Wow, he said. Wow, he said his father. Much stuck his nose un into the hole, but nobody came out. Since we can't have crab for dinner, said Henry's father, I guess we'll have to have another cherry snow cone. Henry cheered and hugged him. As they walked, down to the sands, Mudge stuck his nose into every hole he saw, but nobody ever came back. Bye-bye.